Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? Good, teacher. Good. Excellent. How was your day? Um, busy, unfortunately. <laughs> As always. <laughs> no, supposedly in the in in these days I have to work less than the first on ending of months, but uh, we have a new CEO okay. in the company, so he is asking for a lot of things. And in my case, I am I'm working as WFM and oh. data analyzing. And I have to do a lot of reports. So <laughs> a lot of things to do. <laughs> a lot of things to do. I imagine that. Well, but let's relax. Now you're here in the class. <laughs> you can consider yes. the class as a little break. <laughs> okay. Yes. Yeah. All right. So thanks for the effort. Thank you for being here in the class. Excellent. Always. Very good. That's the attitude. Okay. How about you guys? How are you tonight? How do you feel? I feel I feel fine, teacher. Excellent. I feel nice this day. The weather is cold. Is it yes. really? Yes. In my city, it's very very cold. And where do you live? Uh, Congo City. My town is near Santana City. Ah, okay, good near, for you. Also, also near Guatepec Lake. Mm, okay, good for you. I mean, in my city, it's, it's so hot, <laughs> as always. <Wow. laughs> yeah, but anyway, let's look at the bright side. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so thanks for being here in the class. I'm happy to see you here. Who else? Who else? I can see Cifrido. How are you, Cifrido? Yeah, teacher, you're fine. <laughs> I think was a busy, busy day. Really busy? A lot of things to do. <sighs> yeah, busy. A lot of meetings. A lot of things to do. <sighs> a lot of pendings for tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> I imagine uh, that. All right. <laughs> okay. Well, look at the bright side. Look at the positive side. I don't know which one. <laughs> Maybe that we are here. This is like a little break. Okay, so Teacher. relax. Teacher. <laughs> yes. You you always look happy. <laughs> <laughs> I tried. I mean, no, just I I, I, imagine guys that I appear in the class like this. Hello guys. Yes. Will I? <laughs> yes. I mean, how would you feel, right? I mean, <laughs> yes. So yeah, I try to have energy for you guys. I know that it's hard. I know that. I mean, all of us we are tired, but here we are. Okay, and I know that you are here because you want to learn and want to help you in order that you can feel that learning is easier. Okay. So we're going to start in, I don't know where your classmates are. I hope that they can connect soon. So thank you so much for being on time, everybody. Thank you so much for keeping the camera on. Oh, I can see Atilio. Hello, Josman. How are you? Hello. How was your day, Atilio? Uh <laughs> pretty good excellent all right well you are the only ones guys that i can see with the camera on so the rest of you everybody welcome to the class uh i can see some of you will be listener okay well welcome and thank you so much for being on time do you remember what was the topic that we practiced yesterday Uh-huh. What was the topic that we reviewed yesterday? A little bit, teacher. Which one? Uh, a little bit. Um, some exercise with sporadic speech. Um, some 
a little bit the exercise in internet. Okay, all right, that's good. So in this case, guys, have you been practicing on the platform? Yes. Yes. I hope so. So today, guys, uh, the topic that we are going to study is the last topic for the unit number three, okay? So tomorrow, we are starting the last week, and we are starting the last unit. So on the platform, that means that tomorrow, you can start working in the unit number four, okay? So try to advance everyone. Some of you needs to work a lot. And again, if you have some issues with some exercises, as I always mention, tell me, okay? Some classmates sent me the screenshots and I try to provide the answers um, because I know that sometimes the platform has some little details, right? So just tell me, okay? And I will help you with that. Now let's start. I'm going to start sharing the presentation. Let's see. Okay. Can you see the presentation, everybody? Yes, I can. Yes, excellent. Okay, so today is September 5th, all right? And as I mentioned, today, guys, we are ending the unit number three. So this is the last topic for the unit number three. Tomorrow we are starting the last unit, okay? So everybody, one more week and you will be in the next level, okay? So just imagine guys, one more week, okay? Now this is the topic that we are going to study, indefinite pronouns. Have you ever heard about this topic? Indefinite pronouns? No. No, never? All right. Well, let me tell you that it's a very easy topic. And honestly, it's a topic that we use every single day. Believe me. Well, this is the class objective. I need a volunteer for reading it, please. Uh -huh. um, me teacher yes go ahead class adjective at the end of the class participants will be able to use indefinitive pronouns to talk about people and things in affirmative negative and question sentences thank you so if you see guys there are different types of indefinite pronouns okay we have indefinite pronouns for people, for things, for places, for time. But today we are just going to use the ones for people and for things. But the idea is to cover affirmative, negative, and questions form, okay? Now, before starting, as in every single class, we need to have a quick review. Yesterday, we were practicing a topic. What was the topic? Question, text, and reporting Where? speech. Yes. So we're going to review very fast the question tags, but we are going to do it through a game, okay? So let me see. I have here, guys, some numbers, okay? And you just have to choose a number and you just have to read the statement and tell me the correct question tag. If your answer is correct, you get the point. But if your answer is incorrect, zero, okay? Zero point. We are going to divide the class in themes and we are going to see who the winner is. But I don't know how I can divide it because I have some listeners, but let's do something. I, I have an idea. Give me a second. Uh, mm. Okay, I'm going to take a screenshot, okay? 
And I'm going to divide a class. The ones who appears with yellow, you are going to be one team. And the ones that appears without yellow, you will be another team. Okay. So uh, um, I'm going to include the listeners. All right. I'm sorry. So one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Okay. Well, I think <laughs> there will be a team with more people, I think. Uh, uh, three, six. Okay, in the chat on WhatsApp groups, I'm sending it. The ones that are in yellow will be team one, okay? And the ones that are not in yellow, you will be the team two. Can you see the screenshot, everyone? Yes? yes. Pretty good. Sorry. sorry to check, can you repeat, please? Okay, the ones that appears with the yellow color, okay. you will be team one. The ones that don't have like the color, you will be team two, okay? Okay. Pretty good. All right. Now, here we got the game, everybody. Look at this. Can you see? Now, you just have to tell me a number, read the statement and tell me the correct question tag. Let's start with the team number one, team yellow. Go ahead, give me a number. Which one do you prefer? Seven. Seven. Okay, you will have only 10 seconds to tell me the correct question tag, okay? Everybody in the team can answer, but only the team number one. She never late. Isn't she? Isn't she? Are you sure? No, is she? Sorry. Okay, isn't she or is she? Is she? Isn't she? Is she? Yes. Yeah. Is she? Very good. I remember the tricky one with never. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Very good job. If you see, this is the key, right? Never indicates negative sentences pretty good job so team one you get the point excellent now let's continue with the team two remember team two the ones that are not in yellow give me a number please 10 i'm sorry 10 10 okay 10 seconds you haven't finished yet Do you? Do Hobby. you? Yes. Do you? Mm. Mm. All right. In this case, if you see, what is the uh, grammar tense here? I didn't see the ed because the the your video <laughs> covered it. <laughs> oh, okay. Let me ch let me change it over here. Right now, can you see it? Yes. Okay, so look at this one. In this case, is the present perfect? So negative, we need to change it into affirmative. So the correct one is? Have you. you. Very good. I'm sorry, team, but no points. Okay, let's go back to team one. Give me another number, please. Uh-huh. Oh, Pamela. Number three. Three, perfect. Okay, 10 seconds. She studied biology. Mm. 
Donchi. Okay. Mm. Best. <laughs> okay, look. What is the grammar tense? Best. It's in simple past. So remember, everybody, if I have simple past, I need to use the auxiliary in past. Best. She studied biology, didn't she? All right? Close, or close. Yes. I know what happens is that you don't have a lot of time to think. You have to think fast. Okay, let's continue with the next team. Team, give me a number. Number two, teacher. Number two. Team, okay. help me, please. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, remember, guys, you are a team. You have to help each other. Okay, 10 seconds. You live downstairs. Will you? Don't you? Don't you? Mm, do you or don't you? Don't, don't you. you? Final answer? Don't, don't you. Don't you? Yes. If you see, I have affirmative. So, in question person. tag in negative. Very good. Okay, team two, you have a point. And now it's a tie. Team one, give me a number, please. Hey, help us. Which one? Number one. One. Your go, name, go, go. Your name is Pedro. Is it? Isn't it? Is it or isn't it? Isn't it? Isn't it? That's the one. Perfect. You got the point. Team, go ahead. Give me another number. Team two. Osman, take a number. Osman or oh, Osman. <laughs> okay, number four. Four, okay. You were joking. Yeah. Where, are no. you? Where, are you? Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Yes, very good. Now you are doing better, everyone. Excellent. Okay, next one, Team Yellow, give me a number. 12. I'm sorry? 12. <laughs> 12, okay. Remember, 10 seconds. You'll be okay. Won't you? Won't you? Are you sure? Yes. One, two. Pretty good. Team Yellow. Very good. Okay. Okay. Working what team? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Kevin, I'm you sorry. are. Thank you for the point, Kevin. Thank you so much. Easy point. I said Team Yellow. So. Yes. Easy point. Easy point. Yeah. Why not? <laughs> Okay, team two. The team two is no yellow. Okay, so team two. <laughs> so this is this is your turn, Kevin. <laughs> Don't participate, <laughs> Kevin. Be quiet. All right. <laughs> Go ahead. Give me a number. Eight. Eight. Yes. All right. You don't live here. Don't you? Don't you? Do you? Do you? Do you? Do you? Do you? Do you? That is the one. Remember, negative, I need to say it in the opposite. Positive. Very good job. Okay, look at this, everyone. It's a tie. We only have four more numbers. Team Yellow, give me a number. Andrea, please. <laughs> Got this. Uh -huh. Six. Six. Okay. We had been at the party. Uh, <laughs> that's difficult. Hadn't he? I don't know. I'm sorry? Hadn't he? Hadn't he? Hadn't. Okay. 
And look at this. That is the one. Very good. <laughs> <Yes>. Okay. <laughs> you know, that reminds me, I'm sorry the expression, but when when the thing marine works, right? Like when you are yeah. guessing, <laughs> but good. Excellent job. Team two, which number? 11. 11, okay. She can speak English. Can she? I'm sorry? Can she? Can she? Can she? Can she? Can she? Good job. Oh my gosh. Okay, look at this, everybody. It's a tie, okay? And you just have one opportunity each team. The one who makes a mistake loses, okay? So, Team Yellow, five or nine? Elias, you can do it, bro. <laughs> five. Okay. Remember, if your classmate doesn't know your answer, you are a team, you can help each other. You've done this before. Haven't you? Haven't you? Haven't, Haven't you? you? Are you sure? Yes. Haven't you? Very good. Excellent, excellent. Okay, team two, if you have the correct answer, it's going to be a tie. If you made a mistake, you lose. 10 seconds. I pressure here. <laughs> they didn't know. Um, did they? Did they? Did they? Did they? Are you sure? Yes. Did they? Oh my goodness. Very good. And it's a tie. Congratulations. Yeah, my strategy worked. Nobody lose. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I like it. He's a, a, a peacemaker, right? Good. Good. Okay. Easy or difficult, everyone? The question tags. This exercise was so easy. Okay, pretty good. And this is like the kind of exercise that you should do, guys. Um, because something that I like about this game is that you have to think fast, right? When we are speaking, we don't have a lot of time to think. No. All right. So it is necessary, guys. I highly recommend you to try to search this kind of games online. Believe me that on internet, you can find a lot of resources that are going to help you, okay? Now, before I continue with the topic for today, I'm going to check attendance. So when you listen to your names, please say present. Um, Amanda Leonela Zamora. Present teacher. Very good. Ana Lorena Lovato. Okay. Boris Alexander Cortez. Oh, I think he's driving, he said. Present teacher. Okay, thank you, Ana. Very good. Carlos thank Alberto. You. Okay, thank you, Boris. Carlos Alberto Dominguez. Carlos Ernesto Hernandez. Present. Thank you. Carlos Mauricio Menjiva. Present. Thank you. Edwin Antonio Quinteros. Present. Elias. Okay, very good. Elias Neftali Martinez. Present. Very good. Eulice Torres Torres. Irma Evelyn Rodriguez. Jose Salvador Bernal. Present, teacher. Very good. Josman Atilio Serrano. Present, teacher. Thank you. Kevin Alexander Perez. Kevin. Oh, Present. Yeah. There you are. Thank you. Kevin Alfredo Lucero. Present. Thank you. Maria Jose Siguenza. Nelson Alberto Peraza. Present. 
Thank you. Oscar Alexis Lara. Present. Thank you. Osman Enrique Hernández. Present teacher. Thank you. Pamela Carolina Molina. Present teacher. Thank you. Rafael Alexander Serna. Uh -huh. Ricardo Ernesto Pérez. Listener. Thank you. Cifrido Ernesto Gómez. Present teacher. Very good. Wilber Alberto Pérez. And Andrea Yamilet Mendoza. Present. Very good. Excellent. Okay, very good. Let's start. Now we already practice uh, the question tags. Now let's start with the topic that we need to practice today. Okay, let me start sharing the presentation again. Can you see it, everybody? Yes, I can. Yeah, excellent. Okay, so we're going to start today reading a conversation. This conversation is between Manuel. He's asking some questions to Raphael eh, for some pointers, okay? And we are going to try to understand what is happening here. As always, I need two volunteers for reading. Who wants to try? Me, teacher. Thank you, Osman. You will be Manuel. Okay. Who else? I um, me. Okay, you will be Raphael. Go ahead. Read it, please. What do I need to become a great online marketer? Anyone can become an online marketer, but you have to create and publish content consistently. Then I think I'm a great online marketer. A marketer? Marketer? Marketer. Marketer. marketer already. Just just look at the post in my blog. The, uh, there are hundreds, hundreds. Everybody is going to know my content. Yes, uh, everyone is going to like your content until they get uh, to the opinions menu. No one likes to navigate through a 10 option menu to get the information they need, Manuel. Thank you, very good. So, which words are the importance here? Anyone, Anyone everybody. Everybody. Everyone. everybody, and no one. Now, let's see the sentences. Da -da 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 -da, can become an online marketer. According to the reading, which word goes here? Mm -hmm. Can become an online marketer. Anyone. Anyone. Ah, very good. Anyone can become an online marketer. What is the meaning of anyone? Cualquiera. Cualquiera. In this case, right? Cualquiera. Now, look at the next one. Da, 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 is going to love my content. Everybody, everybody. Ah, and what is the meaning of everybody? Is the same as anyone? No, it's the opposite. Uh, everybody is like uh, todo mundo. Exactly, like all the people, right? That is the meaning for everybody. Okay, next one. Da, 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 is going to like your content until they get the options in the menu. Uh -huh. Everyone. Very good. What do you think, guys? Everybody and everyone, is that the same? What do you think? I think, yes, it's the same, but I'm not sure. <laughs> okay. And you guys, what do you think? Mm. Can be things like similar okay. or are like synonyms? Synonyms? Okay. Hmm. Synonyms. Teacher, teacher, have a question. Yeah. Go ahead. Uh, some some people say everyone and other people say everyone. Uh, what is the difference uh, and what is uh, the correct 
uh, pronouns. In which one? Everyone? And what is the other one? Uh, every young. Every young. Every young. See? It's the same word, but the pronouns is different. Ah, the pronunciation. Well, be honest, is the pen of the accent, right? But honestly, I have only heard everyone. Thank you. Yeah. The correct form is everyone. Well, that honestly, that's the only one that I've heard. Even in movies and in series and in songs, or even when I had the opportunity to talk to English customers, I always heard everyone. I've never heard a different pronunciation, to be honest with you. So, okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Yep, you're welcome. Okay, and the next one, ta -ta 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 -ta, likes to navigate through a 10 options menu to get the information they need. No, no one. No one. And what is the meaning of no one? Ninguno. Which one? Ninguno. Exactly. No one is like zero. Zero. All right. So these words, anyone, everybody, no one, what are they? What is the name of those words? I don't even know the name in the, in the Spanish <laughs> version. <laughs> All right. In English, I don't know. I know in the Spanish. Uh huh. Gentilicio. Ah, okay. <laughs> but now <What>? in English, <laughs> in English, look is this one. In definite pronouns. Okay, we call them indefinite because let me ask you something. If I say everyone, hmm, will you understand exactly how many people I'm talking about? No. No, no really, right? I can be talking about two people, but I can be talking about thousands of people. So they are not very specific, okay? So be careful with the microphones, please. So that is the reason why we call them indefinite. And then it's the word pronouns. That means that they can take the place of the subject, okay? We can replace subject by using these indefinite pronouns. So in this moment, let's see a little definition about how they work, what they are. I need a volunteer, please, for reading the information in the box. I will do it. Go ahead. Uh, indefinite pronouns refer to one or more unspecified objects, people, or places. They are called indefinite because they don't indicate the exact object, person, or place to which they make reference. Thank you. So, what is the main characteristics? They are... Specified. Exactly. Imagine if I say, everybody loves coffee. Okay, I'm talking about plural, everybody. Okay, but... What am I talking about? I'm talking about everybody in my family, everybody in the country, everybody in the class. Will you understand who am I talking about? It's all all of them. Uh-huh. But who are them? <laughs> it's about the word that you say. For example, uh -huh. everyone in my family is your whole family. Very good. Now, if you see, if I'm just saying like everybody, it's like in general, I'm not specifying. So that is like the main characteristics of the indefinite pronoun. They are unspecified, okay? Now, how can we use it? Let's have a, this little box, pay attention in this box because they are going to, in some contexts, they can be similar, but we can use it in different types of sentences, okay? Now, let's start with the first one. 
anyone and anybody. What is the difference in these words? One word is ending in one and the other one is ending in body. But honestly, guys, this the meaning for this one is exactly the same. You can say anyone, you can say anybody, it's the same, exactly the same, okay? It is not like, ah, this one is more formal, ah, this one is more polite. No, not really. They are exactly the same. So if you want, you can use anyone. If you prefer, you can use anybody. It's exactly the same. Got it? Yes? Yes. yes. Pretty good. Now, you have to keep in mind something is, if you see anyone and anybody starts with the word any. If the words start with any, you will use it in negative or affirmative sentences. That is like the general rule, okay? For example, you can say, um, mm -mm -mm. I don't have anyone in my class. What does it mean that in my class I have, how many people do I have in my class? I don't have anyone in my class. How many people? Ah, I have zero. Or I can use it in questions. For example, is there anybody at home? Look, this is a question. So if the word is ending, is starting it with any, you can use it in negative or in questions. Got it? Yeah. Uh, in negative or affirmative sentence? No, in negative or in questions. Uh, but, but in, in, in the, the first, first line, paragraph they, say something you different. write. All itself. right. In this case, as I mentioned, this is like the general rule. Mm -hmm. If you see, when we go back here, yes, it says anyone can become an online marketer. And yes, it is possible when the idea is cualquiera. If you are trying to say cualquiera in affirmative, you can use it. Okay? Yes, it is possible yeah, yeah. siempre y cuando lo que quieran decir es cualquiera. Okay? Now, the most common rule is like this. Usarlas in negative or in questions, okay? Got it? Yes? Yes, now. yes, but give me, a, give me a second, I, I copy. Oh yes, copy, no problem. So you have to pay attention in the ones that are starting with any, okay? Any indicates negative, or questions, simple as that, okay? Then we have the indefinite pronouns that starts with the word every. For example, everyone or every body. In this scenario, guys, again, everyone and everybody, they are exactly the same. If you want, you can use everyone or everybody. They are exactly the same. Something good about everyone is that you can use it in all the sentences. You can use it in affirmative. You can use it in negative. 
and you can use it in questions, okay? Everyone is very flexible, okay? So basically you can use it in all the kind of sentences. For example, you can say affirmative. Ah, everybody speaks in English, okay? Or you can say it in negative. Mm, not everybody speaks in English. Or you can use it in question, okay? Does everybody speak English? It's the same sentence and you can use it. There is no problem at all. As long as the meaning is, what is the translation for everyone or everybody? Uh -huh. Exactly. I'm talking about all, all the people. Right, all the members of the group. Is it clear how we can use everyone and everybody? Yes? Yeah, so far, yes. Excellent. Now, what happens with the one that starts with no? For example, no one or nobody. Pay attention here. If you see all of these words, goes together, anyone, everybody, eh, nobody, except this one, no one. You have to separate it, no, and then one, no one. They go separated. But the meaning, again, is exactly the same. No one, nobody. Now, you have to be careful with this one that starts with no. Remember, guys, that in English, there is the rule that you cannot have two double negative words in a sentence. What is the meaning of no one or the translation for nobody? What do you think? No, no. Uh -huh. Ninguno. Ninguno, Nadie. right? That means zero. So, for example, if I want to say Nadie hizo la tarea. How can I say that? What do you think? No one do the homework. In simple fast, no one did, did the homework. Did the homework. Now, imagine, what do you think? Can I say this? Nobody didn't the homework. Can I say no, this? No. 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 Because in this case, guys, we have two Should be double anybody. negative words. I have this word that is negative, and I have the auxiliary that represents negatives. Okay? So, how can we use no one and nobody? You will use it in affirmative okay. sentences which meaning is in negative, okay? So it's like, tiene que ser una oración en afirmativo, pero con el significado in negative, because no one means zero, okay? So remember that, okay? You cannot put two double negatives in the word. Got it? Yep. And actually, guys, these ones are not common in questions. So, for example, if you say, did no one do the homework? Mm -mm. It is not possible. Okay? So, we are going to use no one or nobody just in affirmative sentences. Don't combine these words with another negative word. Understood? Yes. yes? Okay. Next one, we have someone and somebody. Look at this one. Now it's starting with the word some. Someone. <laughs> Somebody. What is the meaning of this one? What do you think? A few, a few people. Mm -hmm. Yes. And the translation? Like alguno. Alguno. Alguno or? 
Alguien. 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 Pretty good. Now, these kind of sentences, guys, they will be only in affirmative sentences. Okay? There are some questions. Sometimes you can use it in questions. I'm going to write on some marks here because there are specific type of questions. Okay? For example, um, when you are using questions with can or could or would, okay? So you can use somebody or someone specifically when you are using these models. And I will explain you how. But first, let's see an affirmative sentence. Um, I can say, for example, you know what, guys? Yesterday, somebody helped me with the homework. Is this affirmative sentence? Yes or no? Yes. Yes, it is. So most of the time, someone or somebody, affirmative sentence. But again, as I was mentioned, we can use it in some specific questions. So we can say, could somebody help me? It's very common to see this kind of questions, okay? The correct one is to say, could anyone help me? That's the correct one, okay? But most of the time when we are asking questions with these specific models, the people can say some, okay? Or when you use would. Hey, everybody, I, I can ask a question. Would somebody come tomorrow? All right? Those are like the most common questions where you can use somebody or someone, okay? But those are like the specific scenarios. So, recapitulando, all right? I know that these words are kind of confusing. If you go to the dictionary, some of these words, the translation will be like the same in some scenarios. You just have to learn in which sentences you need to use each of them. So if it is starting with any, in which kind of sentences will you use it? In negative. Negative, negative in questions. Negative questions. Or questions. questions. Pretty good. If the word is starting with every, like everyone or everybody, it's in positive and or question. Only positive, negative, and question. Actually, yes. Positive everyone negative. or everybody is for oh. Yes, the three of them: positive, negative, or question. Okay. And if it is starting with no, let no one or nobody. Yeah, positive, but the meaning is in negative. Correct. Very good. Can I combine no one with a negative auxiliary? Never. Never. Exactly. Pretty good job. And if the infinitive word is starting with some, Someone or somebody? Just in positive in special cases. In exactly. Positive. Most of the time, only in affirmative sentences. However, as I mentioned, sometimes you can find some questions, right? Specifically when we are using these models. Okay? And if we translate the sentences, you can see that depending if the sentence is in negative, depending if the sentence is in a question or affirmative, the translation can be different, All right? Is it clear the differences between these words, everybody? For now, yes, but 
ask me tomorrow. <laughs> I like that. No worries. We are going to review it. Okay. I will tell you a sentence. Tell me the translation in English. Imagine that I want to say, Todos fueron a la fiesta. How can I say that? Everybody, Everybody went, went to, to the, the party. party. Very good. So, Everybody went to the party, but nadie bailó. How can I say mm, that? Nobody danced. danced. <laughs> ah, very good. Next sentence. Yo no vi a nadie comiendo. I didn't see anyone eating. Oh, very good. Anyone. Look at this one. Look at the type of sentences and look at how we are changing the words. All right. Um, what else? Pero vi a alguien tomando. But I, but I, but I, I see someone drinking. I, I, I saw. Oh. I saw. Uh huh. I saw someone, someone drinking. Drink. Very good. Someone or somebody drinking. So look at this one. Different sentences, but I'm using different indefinite pronouns. Got it? Yeah. Yes. A little confusing? That's clear, but 50, 50. I, I think we need to memorize. Need Absolutely. <laughs> and this is with the practice. If you see... Yeah. Do we use these words every day? Yes. Absolutely. Right? So, the only things that we need to do is try to memorize in which sentences we need to use them. And no worry, that is what we are going to learn with the practice. Now, did you copy the information? No. <laughs> okay, yes. copy. No, no, no. Copy. I can give you the time. No worries. So everybody, I recommend you to write the information. Sometimes if you take the screenshot, you will never check the screenshots again. So if you want to write it, do it. No problem. I can give you the time. Just let me know when you finish. <laughs> Done, teacher. Excellent. Everybody, you finished? Yes. All right. Yes, Pretty good. Let's move on. Now, important aspect with these characteristics, guys, you have to be careful, okay? Identify if the sentence is affirmative, negative, or questions. Now, I have here an exercise. I will share with you some sentences. And you just have to decide if I'm going to use someone, anyone, or no one. Okay? Let me open up the exercise. I'm not sure if you can read the sentences. I know that it's a little bit smaller. <laughs> Sorry. But look at the first one says, there wasn't... Da, 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 at home. So what do you think, guys? Can I say there wasn't somebody, there wasn't anyone, or there wasn't no one? Anyone. Anyone? For me. For me. Yes. For me. There wasn't anyone yes. at home. Anyone. Anyone. Are you sure? Yes, yes. teacher. We are sure. With your life? <laughs> yes. <laughs> ah, that's what I want. Confident. That's correct. If you see, guys, the sentence is in... negative. Negative. Okay. I cannot use someone no because remember that someone is for 
affirmative. Exactly. No one, mm -mm, I cannot have two double negative words. All right? So, very good. Next one. Let's see. Um, me, teacher. Yes, go ahead. Tell me a sentence. And uh, I saw someone in the supermarket. Hmm. Okay. What do you think, guys? I agree. Are you sure? Agree. All right. Yes. What is the translation? I saw someone in the supermarket. Alguien en el supermercado. Nice. Now let me ask you something. Can I say I saw no one in the supermarket? What do you think? Yes, we can. Mm -hmm. And what would be the translation if I say I saw no one in the supermarket? No, 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 no. Ah, so look at this. It's the same sentence. But if you well, use different indefinite pronouns, the translation and the meaning can change. That's why everybody in English, um, be careful with the microphones. I'm sorry. That's why in English, you have to be careful. Okay, because only one word can change the meaning of the sentence. Because if you say, I saw someone, that means that you, ustedes vieron a alguien, right? One person. But if you say, I saw no one, that means, ¿a quienes vieron? Zero, nobody. Is it clear the difference between someone and no one? No, teacher. No? Okay, let me explain again. Vamos a usar la misma oración, the same sentence. I saw someone. What is the translation? I saw someone. Vi alguien. Vi a alguien. alguien in the supermarket. Yes. Ahora bien, no one, dijimos que no one lo podemos usar para affirmative sentences, right? So, what happens here? What will be the translation if I say, I saw no one in the supermarket? What is the translation? Well, the, the translation is, vi nadie. yo vi nadie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. that is... But we change in Spanish to a negative. Exactly. So, no vi. Exactly. <laughs> That's a good point. Remember, if you translate it literally, it will say like, yo vi nadie in the supermarket, but we don't talk like that in, in Spanish, right? So the translation will be, yo no vi a nadie, okay? So ambas oraciones, and I'm sorry that I explained this topic in Spanish, but I, I try to do it because it's confusing with the translation. What I'm trying to say is this, Puedo usar la misma oración, porque ambas oraciones, a I mí mean, la misma oración está en afirmativo. Y ambas palabras las puedo usar in, in affirmative. Just remember, si uso someone, the translation will be alguien. But if I use no one, the translation will be nadie. Okay, that is the difference. That's why I said in English, everybody, one word can change the meaning of the sentence. Is it clear now a little bit better? Yes? Yes, it should. Pretty good. Now, uh, Elias, can you pick one of your classmates, please? Yes. Mm, come on, come on. <laughs> Ana. Ana Lorena. Hello, Ana. Are you there? Hello. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, that, sorry. That sounds like a revenge, Lorena. Then you will have your opportunity, okay, to pick <laughs> to him too. Lorena, pick one of the sentences, please. Maybe I don't need uh, help. From. Okay, I don't need help from and any, um, anyone. 
anyone. Okay. What do you think, guys? Is that correct? That's yes. correct. Yes, I agree. Sure. Yes. Why? Yes. Because it's, it's negative. negative. It's negative. Ah, very good. If you see, the sentence mm -hmm. is in negative. Can I say, I don't need help from somebody? Mm, no. no. I don't need help for no one. No, mm -hmm. because we have two double negative words. Mm -hmm. So the only possibility is, I don't need help from anyone. Pretty good job. Okay, Lorena? Can you pick one of your classmates, please? Okay, Amanda. Thank you, Amanda. Pick one sentence. Um, um is there um, is there anyone with you? Okay, is there anyone with you? What do you think, guys? Do you agree? Yes. Are you sure? Maybe yeah. someone. Is there... We can use no one too. Okay. Is there anyone with you? In this case, remember, which of these words can I use in questions? Um, someone and anyone. Any. But remember the specific aspect. No, I, I mean, questions. anyone, only anyone. <laughs> ah, in this case, the correct option is anyone. Mm. Is there anyone with you? Okay. Now, no one. Can I say, is there mm. no one with you? No. No, it no, it sounds. It's yes. not can or cool. Yeah, no, we but... cannot say that, right? It will say like, Hey, I nadie contigo. And so it doesn't make sense. Remember that no one affirmative sentences. Okay, pretty good. Yeah, Amanda, pick one of your classmates, please. Okay. Uh, Rafael. Rafael, are you there, Rafael? Sorry, I have problem with the energy. Oh, I'm so sorry. Yes, I just sorry. read your message. Thank you. No worries. Um, pick someone else, please, Amanda. Okay. Um, Edwin. Edwin. I don't, have, I, I don't see the listener words, so. Yeah, I'm, okay. I'm here. <laughs> okay. Edwin. Okay. go back. Rafael has uh, power again. Oh, okay. We can try with Rafael before he can lose the energy again, and then Edwin. No problem. Okay, Rafael? Okay. Sorry, guys. Um, I need <laughs> to <busy>. talk. <laughs> I need someone to talk. Okay. I need someone to talk. What do you think, guys? Do you agree? Yes, I agree. Yes, yes I agree. Yes, that is the one. Now, can I say, I need no one to talk? No, that's no sense. Let's see the translation. Imagine in this case, what would be the translation? I need someone to talk. Necesito alguien que hable. Necesito, Necesito hablar con alguien. Hablar con alguien. Con alguien. Right? So I need someone to talk. But of course, with no one, mm -mm, it doesn't make sense. Now, Edwin, pick one of your sentences, please. Yes. I'm sad because no one wants to help me. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, I'm sad because... No one. All right. What do you think, everybody? Is that correct? I agree. Yes, okay. it's correct. Cool. If you sense. see, the sentence is affirmative. Yes or no? Yes. But the meaning is... Negative. Oh, negative. Yes. Can I say, I am sad because somebody wants to help me? Mm, doesn't make sense. Ay, estoy triste porque alguien me quiere ayudar. Mm, no, right? It doesn't make sense. The correct one is, estoy triste porque. Because. No nadie. Nadie. nadie, right? Nadie me quiere ayudar. Pretty good job. Now, Edwin, can you pick one of your classmates, please? 
Um, Nelson? Nelson, Nelson, tell me one sentence, please. Nelson, are you there? Uh, okay, someone else, a volunteer, please, who wants to try? Uh, me, okay. teacher. Okay. Someone painted this picture many years ago. Okay, someone painting this picture. Do you agree, everybody? Yes, I agree. Totally. If you see, the sentence is in affirmative. So we are saying alguien, right? Alguien pinto. Very good job. And the last one, volunteer, please. Me, teacher. Oh, good. Oh, good. Okay, go ahead. Pick up the phone. Someone is calling you. All right. Is that correct, everybody? Yes. yes. Yes, totally. So pick up the phone. Does it make sense if I say no one is calling you? Tendría sentido? Does it make sense? No. It's a ghost calling you. <laughs> Maybe, right? A voice from the everlasting. But in this case, the correct one is someone. Now, remember the rules. According to these sentences, everybody, if it is start with some, remember, we can say someone or somebody. It's more for affirmative. If it is starting with any, like anyone or anybody, what is the sentences? What kind of sentences do I need here? Negative and question. Negative or questions. And if it is starting with no, like no one or nobody, what kind of sentences are these? Positive. 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 Yes, this is more for positive sentences, but the meaning is in? Negative. Negative, all right? Those are the main rules that you need to remember. Clear? Everyone? Yes? yes, any questions so far? No questions? Question. Easy or difficult? What do you think? Uh huh. Easy? 50 50. 50 50. Okay. Now, let's continue. There is something important that you have to remember about this topic, everyone. And uh, I know that when you say, Everybody, it sounds like a group of people. But when you are using indefinite pronouns, all of them will be considered as a singular. That means that all of these words, nobody, anybody, somebody, all of these words will be considered third person. Is it clear? All the time. Is it good? Got it? Yes? Okay. For example, I need a volunteer for reading the first sentence, please. Nobody? Nobody likes to be bombarded with ads in um, pop And pop-ups. Pop Very good. Look at this one. Nobody likes likes so simple person it's like third person you need to add the letter s okay a second example please volunteer for reading Yo. yes go ahead is anybody working as community manager in your company thank you look what is the verb to be that i'm using is. is okay third person you have to think about them in third person next one volunteer for reading me teacher yes go ahead somebody in the company likes to read or monthly article very good again look at this one likes always third person how about if I use anyone? Volunteer for reading, please. Me, teacher. Yes, go ahead. 
anyone knows about search engine optim optimization nowadays? Thank you. Look at this one, guys. Everyone knows. So all of these questions, all of these uh, words, I'm sorry, you have to think about them as third person. Even if they are negative. For example, no one, look, pays attention. How about if I want to use an auxiliary? For example, imagine that I want to ask a question and I say, do or does you know anyone here? What would be the correct question here? Oh, well, no, 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 sorry. I'm going to change the question. <laughs> no, let's see. Do or does anyone come today? What do you think? Does. Does? Are you sure? Yes. Yes. Does. Because it will be considered as third person. So please don't forget this, especially when you are talking in simple present. All of these words, when you are using indefinite pronouns, they are singular. They will be third person. Got it, everybody? Got it. Yes. Any Got questions it. so far? No. Okay, pretty good. Can you listen to me very well? I think that I have some issues with my connection. <laughs> but can you? Yes, I can. Okay, perfect. Okay, let's have a practice. I have some sentences here, and I want you to tell me what will be the correct word. For example, in the number one, nobody reads or nobody reads the magazine. Reads. Nobody reads. Nobody reads. reads. Number two, volunteer for reading, please. Mm -hmm. I'll do it. Go Anybody ahead. from the office can help you with anybody, yeah, can help you with the requirement documentation. Mm -hmm. Help or helps? Helps. Helps? Are you sure? Yeah. Yes, because he's talking about anybody. Hmm. What do you think, office. everyone? Do you agree with him? I think I that he helps. Help. Why? Because, because anybody is like one person. There is a modal verb. Ah, There's a modal verb. It's that is third what person. you have to consider. Look, anybody is third person? Yes, so we have to say helps. However, there is one little detail, and it's the modal verb. And what happens if I have a modal verb? What happens with the verb? No modified. Ah, is in the basic form. Basic form. Mm -hmm. Just imagine if I didn't have here the modal, in that case, yes, I have to say helps. But because I have the modal, I don't need changes. Okay, so be careful, everybody. Remember, if you have a modal verb, the verb is basic form. Mm -hmm. Now, next one, volunteer for reading the number three, please. Me, teacher. Somebody is trying to unlock the password to our web page. Do you agree, everyone? Uh -huh. Somebody yes, is. Yes, That's it's correct. One. Excellent. Number four, please, volunteer. Me, teacher. Does anyone think, does anyone think this is a good uh, project? Okay, thinks? Thinks. Are you sure? No, no, because uh, before uh, there is a auxiliary. auxiliary. Ah. Does, does anyone think this is a good project. That is the one. What happens if I have an auxiliary? The verb, the verb is, is person. Simple, simple form, simple no person. changes. Exactly. So look at this one. 
I know that I have the word anyone here. And you will say, ah, anyone, third person. Mm, but be careful because remember, if you already have the auxiliary, the verb doesn't need change. Number five, volunteer for reading, please. Number five, anyone? No one read new articles for the guest post of the week. Thank you. So, write or write? Write. Write, write. Everybody, do you agree? Write? Yes. Yes, it is. Yes, totally. So, everybody, remember, if you have these words in definite pronouns, they are considered third person. Understood? Yes? Yes, yes. Any questions so far? Easy? Yes? No? 50-50. 50-50? Okay. But we are practicing. No worries. We are going to be practicing and learning this topic. Let's have another practice. I have here, guys, six sentences. And you just have to choose what is the correct word. For example, in the number one, it says anyone and no one. And then I have came to my graduation. What do you think? What would be the correct answer? Anyone or no one? What do you think? I think no one came to my graduation. No one? Okay, do you agree with him, everybody? Anyone. Yes. Yes, are you sure? Why? Yes. Why do you think that is no one? Because zero. Positive, but with negative. Ah, if you see this sentence is positive, but the meaning is negative. Negative. How many people arrived to the graduation? It was alone. It was zero, right? No one, zero people. Now, I will give you two minutes, okay, to answer these sentences in your notebooks. And then I will be asking individually. But I want to everybody try to answer the sentences, okay? Two minutes. <laughs> you just have to choose the correct indefinite pronouns. Think about it. Go ahead. And then I'm going to ask individually. Try to answer, read carefully, read carefully. Try to identify what kind of sentence is it. One more minute and I will be asking individually. We have to answer the number four and five. All of them. But we didn't see anything about nothing and everything. Oh, no. that's true. That's true. Yes. I'm going to explain <laughs> this. I'm sorry. I haven't explained this. Let's omit this one and this one. I'm going to explain it in the next slide. <laughs> no worries. I want to answer those. <laughs> <laughs> but no worries. I'm going to explain that. So are you ready, everybody? Yes? 
Yes. All right. So let's see. I want to start asking individually. I want to start asking someone who hasn't participated a lot. Let me see. Da, 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 da. Uh, Oscar Alexis, of course. Hello, Oscar. Are you there? Yes, I'm here. Excellent. So, Oscar, number two, what will be the sentence? Can you read it, please? The sentence, can somebody help me? Okay. So, Oscar says somebody. What do you think, guys? Do you agree? I agree. Yes, I agree. But it's a question. Can I use somebody with questions? Yes. But uh, you can uh, have an auxiliary can. Remember, we can use somebody for some kind of questions, especially when we have a model. Okay? Very good job. Um, Oscar, can you pick one of your classmates, please? Yes. Lorena? Lorena. Go ahead, Lorena. Number three. Um, I want to meet anyone special at the dance all right anyone yes. what do you think guys do you agree no no, no. Someone. I said no. Someone. 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 someone because it's affirmative sentence ah can i use anyone with affirmative mm, no. no no not really no. right so mm -hmm. remember you can use anyone in affirmative sentences when only in those scenarios when the translation is cualquiera, right? It's like cualquiera. Does it make sense if I say, ah, quiero conocer a cualquiera? Mm, it doesn't make a lot of sense, okay? So in this case, if the sentence is affirmative, the best option is someone and what will be the translation guys i want to meet someone exactly very good well in this case it's at the dance so it's more like in the baile right now lorena pick one of your classmates carlos mauricio thank you number six carlos Okay, uh, Maria had a rumor about someone. About someone. Do you agree, everybody? Yes. Yes. What yes I mean, agree. If you see the sentence is in Possibly. affirmative. Exactly. So now that you know the rules, it is easier to identify when we need to use anyone, when we need to use someone, or no one. Okay, is it clear, everybody? Yes. Yes? Yes, teacher. Do you have any questions so far? No. Are you sure? Yes. <laughs> if we have an exam right now, what will be your score? 10. 100%. 10, 100%. I love that. Pretty good job. All right. Now, if you see, we have these sentences with nothing or everything or anything. So, hmm, we are going to talk about it, okay? Um, I have a question. Sure. Um, if we use the, the word never, I never want to meet da -da -da special at the dance. Uh -huh. What happened there? That's a good question. So, remember, guys, that never is considered negative word yes or no yes teacher yes. yes 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 so imagine in this case for example the sentence that he say i i never want to i'm going to write it i never want to meet what do you think someone anyone or no one what do you think anyone why? Any. Why do you think that is anyone? Uh, because it's a negative. We use a negative sentence. Ah, if you see never is a negative word, that means that this sentence is 
negative. Okay? So, I cannot use somebody because, again, the sentence is in negative. I cannot use no one because, because in that case, exactly, no. I will have a double negative word. So, the best option is anyone. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. be careful and with this word, never. Because, remember, mm -hmm. never is a negative word. Mm -hmm. Got it? Okay. So never say never. <laughs> never say. <laughs> never say never. That's a good one. <laughs> All right. So now let's analyze the other indefinite pronouns that is the ones that are using the ending of thing. So if I'm using thing, it's for object. Okay, so for example, I have any thing. If it is ending in one or body, this is for people. But if it is ending in thing, again, is for things or objects. Okay, so we have any thing. We have every thing. We have no. Thing and we have something. So the rules are the same. exactly the same. Yes. So when can I use anything? In which kind of sentences can I use? In questions and negative. Yeah, negative. Exactly. Negative. I have to use it in negative sentences or in questions. Questions. Simple as that. How about everything? In which kind of sentences can I use all everything? All in positive in questions. All of them. I can use it in well, positive, in negative. Yeah. All in them. negative all and in questions. All of them. That's good. How about nothing? In positive. Positive. Positive, but? Or, What's the condition? Uh, positive with the meaning is negative. That's yeah. the one. Excellent. How about something? Mm. Positive in special cases. Can, will, or cool. Exactly. So the rules are exactly the same. That's something good. Okay? The rules are the same. Let's see some examples. Imagine that I want to say, do mm, you know what, guys? Ayer <laughs> no hice nada. How can I say that? Yesterday, I didn't do anything. Ah, look. I didn't do anything. <laughs> Sentence in negative. So, I'm using anything. <laughs> right? But the opposite. Um... Yo compré todo. How can I say that? Mm, I bought everything. I bought everything. Uh, <laughs> ah, look, I bought everything. everything. Affirmative sentence, so I can use everything. But if I change it, I can say it in negative too. I didn't bought everything. Anything. Did you bought everything? So we can use it in all of the sentences. How about nothing? Um, I want to say the same sentence. Yo no hice nada, pero quiero usar nothing. How can I say that? I didn't do nothing yesterday. <laughs> I did nothing yesterday. Uh -huh. I did. Uh, look, I did nothing, nothing. nothing. yesterday. Okay. Can I say I didn't do? Nothing? No, no. Never. No. I will say just, I did nothing. Okay? Now, I want to say, mm, quiero preguntar algo. How can I say that? I want to ask something. Very good. I want to ask something. Now, pay attention here. When we are talking about questions using something, is most of the time when we are offering something. 
For example, imagine that you come to my house and I say, um, hey, quieren algo de tomar? How can I say that? Would you like something? Very okay. good, look. I'm offering, so I can say, would you like something to drink? Estoy ofreciendo algo, yes or no? Yes. Yes, I'm offering a beverage. So something, you can use it in questions, yes, but especially when you are offering something. Mm -hmm. Is it clear, everybody, how we can use anything, everything, nothing, or something? Yes. Yes? Yes. Um, in, the, in the last one, we can mm -hmm. use everything too, right? Or not? Everything. Would you like, to li would you like uh, everything to drink? Mm. No, right? Because he's... If I have a lot of things in the house, you can uh -huh. drink all of them. No, I, yeah, yes. it would it but, would be weird. I yeah. mean, <laughs> grammatically it would be correct, but it doesn't make sense because it uh -huh. would be like, te gustaría todo para tomar? Uh -huh. <laughs> so yeah, it doesn't make uh -huh. a lot. Mm -hmm. so, okay. Yeah. So just remember that something in questions is when you are offering something. Okay. And again, we can use the questions with different models. Si ustedes ven los models like can, could, or would, we can use something, okay? Got it? For example, how can I say, imagine this question. ¿Puedo decirte algo? How can I say that? Um, I ask you something. Ah, can I? Can I tell you something? Very good. Can I tell you something? No decimos, can I tell you anything? No, because I'm using the modal can, okay? So especially, guys, when we use can, could, or would, most of the time we use something. the word something. Exactly. Clear? Yes? Sure. And what about the, the word may? Ah, it's the same. Actually, remember that they are models. However, may is not so common as could and would. But of course, it's still a model. It's basically the same rule. If you have the model may, yes, you can also can combine it with something. Mm -hmm. What okay. happens is not that so common, but yes, you can. Any other question that you may have? Yes? No? No, teacher. Ready for an exam? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> ah, come on. You have to say yes, teacher. We are more than ready. All right, listen. Yes, we can do everything. Of course, that's the attitude. And you are using <laughs> the vocabulary. Pretty good job. Okay, listen. We are going to have a practice. It's not an exam, okay? But let's try to apply the knowledge, okay? And we are going to have a written practice. Do you like writing? Yes? No. Yes, I mean, yes. <laughs> All right. This is the moment, guys, to get inspired, okay? So what are we going to do? Listen, we are going to have a very short paragraph, only five lines. If you want to write more, I mean, do it, no problem. I just want you to tell me, guys, how your year is going so far, okay? Think about, we are September. So think about your year since January. Describe how your year is going so far, okay? Give us detail. And the idea, guys, is that you can include affirmative and negative sentences, but the idea is to use the indefinite pronouns, okay? So try to concentrate and look at the way that you can include different indefinite pronouns. I'm going to send you a link 
and you have to complete the task here in this form. The first thing that you need to do is to write your full names. Full names, okay? And then you write your answer, okay? So you can say, um, let me tell you about my 2023, okay? In this year, for example, you can say, I have met, oops, sorry. I have met, I don't know, a somebody special, for example, all right? Ah, this person, ta, 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 ta. Or you can say, well, you know, during this year, I did a, something important. Let me tell you about it. Or you can write it in negative. Well, unfortunately, <laughs> This year, I am single because I haven't, oops, I haven't met anyone interesting, da 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 da, -da okay? Oh, during this year, I have done everything I wanted, things like that, all right? If you see, I'm using different indefinite pronouns, and also, you can use the ones that are ending in things. So you can talk about things and you can talk about people. Is it clear, the writing activity? Yes? Everybody, is it clear? Yes, teacher. Important, punctuations, okay? If you are writing the first letter, capital. If you have a point, Use it and then tap it out too, okay? Let's be careful with the punctuation. So I'm going to send the link, right? So you can start writing, give me a second. I'm going to send it here in the chat, but also I'm going to send it on WhatsApp's groups. Do your best and then we are going to have, well, we are going to read some of the paragraphs here in the class, all right? But I'm not going to share the names. Don't worry, it's going to be private. Okay, I already sent it on WhatsApp groups and I already sent it here in the chat. Everybody open up the link, please. Open the link. Don't forget to write your full names. And let's start writing a paragraph. Tell me, guys, how is your year going so far? Okay? You can talk about positive things, negative things. You can combine. Do it. For this activity, I'm going to give you 10 minutes. So, everybody, go ahead. You have 10 minutes. Remember, it's a paragraph of only five lines. If you want to write more, if you feel inspired, I mean, of course, you can write more. But right now, you have five minutes. Go ahead. If you have questions, just let me know. Let me set the timer. Be careful with the punctuations. Be careful with the spellings. Remember that in English, one letter is wrong. Everything can be wrong. Go ahead.
If you have questions, just let me know, please. Be careful with the spelling, everyone. Try to use different indefinite pronouns. You can talk about people or things. Five more minutes. If you have questions, just let me know, please. I can see one of your classmates already sent the answer. Pretty good. You still have time. Don't worry. You have more than four minutes. Two more minutes. I can see some of your classmates are sending the answers. Go ahead, everyone. Two more minutes.
I can see two people already finished. Very good. Well, three people already finished. Excellent. One more minute, everybody. Okay, I can see four answers, pretty good. And I can see some people feel very inspired. I love it. Pretty good, pretty good. Okay, I can see five answers. Excellent, pretty good. Five seconds. Let's start sending your answers. And time's up, everybody. 10 minutes already passed. Time's up, time's up. Send your answers, please. I can see seven answers, eight answers. Okay, pretty good. Send your answers, everybody. One line for minutes, 10 lines. <laughs> well, actually, if you want to write more, that's excellent. You, you felt very inspired. <laughs> I just consider five lines, so I will give you two minutes per line. <laughs> <laughs> but if you wrote more, that's excellent. Okay, everybody, I'm going to share with you some of the paragraphs that uh, your classmates sent. I'm not going to share the names just in case that you don't want to people know. But let me ask you, easy or difficult to write in English? What do you think? If I compare it with the last time, easy. Uh-huh. Yeah, it's good. Uh-huh. And the rest of you guys? What kind of? You need to think a lot, but that's um that have uh, a meaning for to me now mm -hmm. after the explica explanation all right sounds good now if you see guys we are using those words we use in indefinite pronouns but now we are using them like more conscious about the correct grammar right now we are conscious about when we need to use each word now, we're going to verify some of the paragraph, but before that, I'm going to check attendance uh, the second time. So when you listen to your names, say present, please. Um, let's see, Amanda Zamora. Present, please. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Ana Lorena Lovato. Present, teacher. Thank you. Boris Alexander Cortez. All right. Um, Carlos Alberto Domingo. Present teacher, I'm sorry. It's okay, thank you. Okay, um, Carlos Alberto Dominguez. Present teacher. Thank you. Carlos Ernesto Hernández. Present. Thank you. Carlos Mauricio Menjiva. Present. Thank you. Edwin Antonio Quinteros. Present teacher. Thank you. Elias Neftalí Martínez. Present teacher. Thank you. Eulice Torres Torres. Thank you. Irma Evelyn Rodriguez. Jose Salvador Bernal. Present teacher. Thank you. Josman Atilio Serrano. Present teacher. Thank you. Kevin Alexander Perez. Present. Thank you. Kevin Alfredo Lucero. All right, Maria Jose Siguenza. Nelson Alberto Peraza. Present. Thank you. Oscar Alexis Lara. Present teacher. Thank you. Oscar, I'm uh, sorry, Osman Enrique Hernandez. Present. Thank you. Pamela Carolina Molina. Present. Thank you. Rafael Alexander Serna. 
Ricardo Ernesto Pérez. Present. Thank you. Um, Cifrido Ernesto Gómez. Thanks. Wilber Alberto Pérez. And Andrea Yamilet Mendoza. Present. Thank you. Very good. Okay, let's read some of the sentences, some of the paragraphs that you send. But again, I'm not going to share names, okay? I'm going to pick randomly some of the paragraphs. Let's see. Hmm, this one is a little bit long. So this, let's see this one. Look at this. Can you see the paragraph? Yes. Yes, teacher. Excellent. Okay, but let's see. I'm going to try to do it bigger so you can read it. Okay, let's see. Okay. Um, I need a volunteer, please, for reading this paragraph. Who wants to read? Anyone? Please? Yes, Please. I will. Okay, go ahead, Anna. Okay, thank you, Anna. Go ahead. Okay, well, I need to tell you something about my year. Since January 1st was an interesting year, full of challenges of my job, because I was starting in a new position and leading a team. Also, I traveled to Brazil three weeks for work free zone, but the complicated part was that I doesn't know anyone and basically I know nothing about the language it was a really frustrating experience because someone told me that Portuguese was similar to Spanish and I be will able to understand everything it was a lie. Advice. Please never choose anyone about Portuguese is similar to Spanish. <laughs> it is a lie. Thank you. Everything. <laughs> Pretty good. Okay, look at this one. How many indefinite pronouns do we have here? Um, two, we have five. six. Uh, everything. Okay. Where is everything? You didn't mark it. Oh, Understand yeah, yeah. everything. I'm sorry. Yeah. So look, we have six. Very good. And actually, if you see the paragraph was a bit long. I feel that this person was very inspired. I like that. Now, be careful with some spellings and some grammar structure. For example, I be will. Mm, what would be the correct one here? I will be able. I will. I will be able and something important guys is when we are talking about countries nationalities or language we always use capital, capital letters, letters. Capital letters. Mm -hmm. always so imagine <laughs> portuguese is similar to spanish <laughs> never a big lie. it's a big lie very good so excellent paragraph i liked it if you see they are using the infinitive pronouns in a very correct way. Excellent job. Now, let me pick another one. Da, 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 da. Can you give me a number, guys, from 1 to 12? Give me a number. Seven. Seven. Okay, let me pick the paragraph number seven. Okay. Again, I'm not going to say the name. No worries. Okay, this is the paragraph. This is the sixth answer. I need a volunteer. Who wants to read? A volunteer, please. Only one. Oh, come on. I can. Thank you. Go ahead. Okay. In this year, I worked a lot. I had to do a lot of new reports for many accounts. I have a new CEO in the company. He's a smart guy. It happened until last week. We had a meeting introdu to introducing him. I want to do something like travel at least in Central America. No one did it so far, uh, and I would like to be the first one of my group. I moved to a new neighborhood this year, in this year. I don't meet 
to anybody, but I know we can be good neighbors. I would try to invite to someone to my house in this weekend, but it depends on the weather. I am taking the English classes and I am so excited to finish the program with the rest of the team. Very good. I like this paragraph. Very good. How many indefinite pronouns do we have here? Four. Four. And look at this one. If you paid attention, guys, look, affirmative sentence. So I'm using something. Very good. Then I have affirmative sentence, but in negative meaning. So I use no one. Pretty good. Look, negative anybody nice and that's what i need guys that you can identify when you need to use each word pretty good i like it i like it so give me another number please from one to twelve uh-huh can you tell me another number from one to twelve please the last Six. one <laughs> The last one, number 12. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, uh, okay. Volunteer for reading, please. Um, me? Yes. Thank you. Go ahead. Um, in this last year, have been something irregular, but about all, about all oh, the last three years because everyone be getting sick of COVID. Uh, all that bring very fears to that very fear to die. Nobody wanted out to the stress. There was quarantine and everywhere from no con contagious, right? Contagious. Yes. Contagious of COVID after of all that everything be getting expensive yeah that's a sad reality right everything is very expensive nice this is an interesting paragraph too and look at this one important details with the grammar spelling in this last year have been so mm, it's missing something important what is missing here I need a subject. subject. Remember okay. that in English, all the time, we need a subject, okay? It is not like in Spanish that sometimes we omit the subject. In English, mm -mm, we can't. So I don't know if the subject is in third person or not, but if it is in third person, you have to say has. But in this case, I'm not pretty sure because again, I don't have the subject. So have been something irregular, okay. In this case, but let's see, but above all, um, this is a connector. So after this one, we can add a comma, okay. The last three years, because everyone be getting sick. B is a fair, well, it's infinitive verb. What do you think? What would be the best form of the verb? Do I need infinitive or what do you think? I think we can omit it, but I'm not sure. In this case, I'm talking the last three years. So it's in simple present, it's in past, it's in future. It's in past. It's in, simple. It's in past because look. So was getting past. sick. Ah, very good. So was we have to sick. say everyone was getting sick of the COVID. COVID is a proper name. Capital letters. All that bring. Can I say all that bring or is that a third person? All that brings. brings. A very fear to die. In this case, instead of very, we can say just some fears to die. Okay. Nobody. Mm, can we separate nobody? Mm -hmm. No, just no, no one. Ah, no one is separated, but nobody, you have to write it together. Together. Yes, nobody wanted out of COVID. Again, capital, please. 
after all that, uh, after of all that, everything, be careful with the spelling in this case. Um, again, B mm, is infinitive. So in this infinitive case, word. yes. Uh, after all, everything uh, was getting expensive. Or if you want to continue talking about it, like in simple present, you can say, after all, everything is getting expensive because it's an action that is still happening, right? Everything is getting more and more expensive. So something good, yeah, there are some aspects that we still need to continue working on, but something good, guys, is that you are using the infinitive pronouns, I mean, the definite pronouns correctly. So that is good, yeah, okay? Of course, we need to continue practice uh, writing in order to continue improving, okay? Easy or difficult, the written practice. What do you think? So-so. So-so? 50-50. 50-50? Yes. All right, I will read the paragraph that you wrote and tomorrow I will give you like a general feedback, like the aspect in which most of you is getting mistakes, okay? Now we don't have more time everybody so uh, i don't have winner for tonight i'm sorry but the person that is the winner is not here so we are going to stop right here thank you so much for being in the class everybody have a wonderful night and see you tomorrow okay. see you, see you. good night good night